Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So I recently received a message from a viewer asking me what types of goodies you can find in exercise equipment and if it is worth picking up on garbage day. Items like exercise bikes, rowers, treadmills, you will find them from time to time on garbage day and they are a great source of scrappable material. As you can see behind me, I actually have two large control panels that came off of treadmills. I actually found these this week and one of them actually did have a partial frame to it. So what I want to do today is open these up, show you how to identify the material, how to separate it, and more importantly, how to maximize your profit and divert as much of this away from the landfill as possible. So here we go. As mentioned, one of them did have a partial frame. I love treadmills, they are very heavy. And as you can see, it did come with two big poles like that. I have a large frame here, as well as two very large poles right here. Look at the size of these. And these right here are very heavy combined. These five pieces weigh together 45 pounds. And at a scrapyard, these would be put into steel. Um, and what I want to do right now is actually talk about the difference between steel and another category, tin or shred. I have had some viewers comment about uh, they don't have tin at their scrapyard, they consider it iron. And it does depend on where you live. In southwestern Ontario, we have, as I said, steel and tin or shred um, weight price and the difference between them is thickness. In order for it to be classified as steel, it has to be thicker than a quarter inch and it usually pertains to structural beams. So these types of structural poles, items like your trampoline poles, um, I-beams, very thick, so those will be steel. And currently right now in London, Ontario, they are going for 10 to 15 cents a pound, which is an excellent price. Tin or shred is another category. That is stuff that is thinner than your quarter inch. And items like your uh, metal frames from your washing machines, dryers, ovens, uh, microwaves, um, furnaces, those are all gonna be classified as tin or shred. Sometimes you'll see on the ticket. That right now is usually going for uh, in London, Ontario, 10 to 13 cents a pound, so a little bit less, but both are at an excellent price. So you definitely want to make sure you separate it and hopefully for you that does answer that question. I do have a number of poles that I've been saving up. So all of this is going to go into my steel in one load. Um, so I'm glad to get rid of it. But again, very heavy 45 pounds here, which is excellent. Inside of these two poles, there were some wires that would connect to the control panel. So the first wire that I do want to talk about is this wire and if I take it up to the camera, I have already removed this out of that uh, leg there. You can see there is, if I take it to the camera, a metallic mesh around that. It's usually aluminum and wire that has that metallic mesh around it like this uh, or another one common is your computer cord that goes in from your monitor to your uh, tower. Those are going to be classified as low grade wire and currently right now in London, Ontario, that is going for about 80 to 90 cents a pound. So a good price. You do want to make sure you separate it from your other appliance wires um, that are going to be higher value. And there is some other wires in here, so you definitely want to make sure you separate them. Um, getting in more to the control panel here, I could bring this in as is and get electronic uh, price or e-waste price and that's because this control panel has a lot of buttons to it uh, There's going to be several circuit boards on this and currently right now in London, Ontario You could get about five to six cents a pound for this this one right here I just weighed it weighs 20 pounds. So better than nothing um, The one behind it is a little bit smaller that I will show in a little bit But again, you could take this in as is and get something for it However, if I turn it around, you can see there is just without even opening, just removing the back panel. Here is some more uh, metal. If I put a magnet, there is some more steel here. Uh, there is some more wire. There's a small copper bearing motor there. 
And by just removing these items and separating them, I am gonna make more money from this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and I will talk a little bit about other wire in a second. I have, for the sake of this video, gone ahead and already opened it up. All of my screws, you can see I do keep these. These are also gonna go into my tin pile. I put them into a bucket and uh, make sure that I have them secure, they don't fall out. Definitely don't wanna have these pointy ones falling on the road and puncturing tires. So I put them into a tin can, which is great. Uh, but you do see right here some circuit boards. I'm just going to cut some of this wire first. I do have, as well, two speakers here. I have also seen some people sell parts like this online. Um, you know, people are always looking for replacement parts, uh, things like that. So that's another option uh, that you could go to, uh, especially um, if there is a certain model that people are trying to get. Uh, but you definitely need to know the type of model you have and the different parts as well. Um, but just going to quickly cut this wire here. Very easy to do if I can get at it. I uh, just want to pull it through. Now, this wire is going to be classified a little bit different. This wire, if you look at it, does not have inside of here, once I remove this little frame or plastic sheet, this wire does not have your metallic coating on it. These are all individual strands that I do want to pull out of here. Um, and this wire right here is going to actually be classified, if I look at it, it is copper. Um, I want to make sure I look at it. So this is copper. So this is actually going to go as appliance wire. And because there's only one coating on it, this is going to go right now as 60% appliance wire and currently $2.74 a pound in London, Ontario. Uh, that is the reason why I actually removed this sheath to it. Had I kept this sheath on it, this would be lower value. It would go as 40% appliance wire and is currently going for $1.64 a pound, so $1.10 less. Um, so definitely a good way to upgrade just pulling that sheath off. One thing that your scrapyards look at when it comes to appliance wire is plastic to copper ratio and copper recovery. Um, the rule is usually one coating of plastic on the wire, you're gonna have higher copper, so more value, because if it had this exterior sheath on it, it would have had more plastic, less copper, so less value. So definitely great way to upgrade, but this is gonna be definitely different category than my um, uh, low grade wire that had the um, metallic mesh around it. So definitely want to make sure you separate it. Want to make sure you look at it closely um, as well. So here's a little bit more of that that I will separate after. I have a nice circuit board here. This circuit board does have a couple things on it. I'm just going to get my screwdriver just to hopefully remove it. Uh, I want to take this part off. Um, again, these speakers, I have seen people sell these online. I actually will take the copper off. There's a little bit of copper you can see there as number two copper. There's not much, but it's a little bit. Um, but I also, because there is metal on this, I could also throw this into my tin shred. Um, but I am not gonna take this off for this video. I'm just gonna show it to you. This circuit board does have a small crystal oscillator that I take off. I don't see any gold on it. And the nice thing about these circuit boards is I could bring these circuit boards in still and get e-waste price for these. Uh, you do want to check. There are different categories for circuit boards, but um, at the one that I go, because there is no precious metal on this one, it's going to be my low grade. So probably five to 10 cents a pound. I have seen some people get uh, 10 to 20, depending on where you go. So you definitely want to shop around, but I want to open this box here because this box looks like it's gonna have some goodies in it. It just got last screw I wanna open and we will see what's gonna be in there. I know there's gonna be some silver buttons. Um, for the sake of this video, I can see that this is glued on here, but I'm just gonna try and open this very quickly. There's the last screw. See if I can reveal another circuit board. I'm going to open that. This box might need a hammer. 
Uh, there are a couple little screws on here, but there is definitely, this is your control panel that's gonna have another circuit board. Um, there are small little screws that I'm gonna have to open up in a second um, afterwards. Uh, but uh, I'm looking for my little, little, little screwdriver. Um, I might just try and speed this up with a, there we go, there's my little screwdriver. No, nope, my flat, hey, I found my flathead. That's good. So now my problem is trying to find my other screwdriver. There it is. So different parts. So just gonna see if I can open this very quickly just to show you. This is the screen that has the different items. Definitely gonna have um, another circuit board as I said, but gonna look if there's a copper bearing motor inside of this or any gold. Sometimes they will have gold as well. And I always love free gold, last screw. All right, so open this up, here we go. And I gotta hit it with a hammer, maybe a little tap. Don't wanna break it. There we go. So inside of it, there is some gold. You can see right there, there is a nice gold circuit board right there, it's a strip. So this, I actually keep that, that's a nice little piece of gold there, gold plated circuit board on there that I will take off from this. Um, there's a little bit of gold on this little as well, so I will keep that. Um, a little bit of copper that you can see on this one. Okay, a little ribbon of copper there. There is another gold piece right there, that little connector, gold plated. So I do keep these. Um, I will keep, there's some different MLCCs that you see some of these little black boxes or brown tops have palladium in them or palladium. Um, some of them you don't have, but I do have separate videos on there. But definitely want to make sure I take these gold pieces off as well. There is some more uh, wire here. This is also going to be your 60% wire. As well, this, if I remove, there's a couple bolts still on it. This circuit board, just gonna rip this open. Uh, and again, the circuit board is, once I get my cutter, now I'm starting to make a mess in my workplace, but I'm just gonna cut these wires just so I can bring them up to the camera. You can see here is a, another couple circuit boards here. As well, there is a small motor, copper motor inside of here. This will spin, this plastic. It's kind of like one of those microwaves. Um, you'll remove it, there'll be a copper bearing motor in here. These copper bearing motors are a lot like your metallic ones, like this. And I don't open these, I actually just take these off. They're just screwed on, but I will put these into my copper bearing motors as is and get 10 cents a pound for this. Um, some of them, like I said, are very difficult to open and it's not worth it. But the rest of this frame is going to go into my tin. Um, I do want to remove the plastic. This plastic is heavy enough to be actually put into my recycling, which is great. Um, but I'm definitely going to make more from this frame, putting this into my steel bin as is, than if I was to take this whole thing and bring it in as e-waste. So I actually have, uh, just one second, I'm going to weigh it. Another... So 17, 16 pounds of steel right here from this bar. So definitely a great score. Way better than bringing in with my e-waste. Um, same thing with this one. Another control panel. I've already removed it. This one, unfortunately, does have a lot of plastic. And if I was to bring this one into the scrapyard, a scrapyard is not going to give me e-waste price for this one because there's only a little bit of circuit board. Uh, but here you can see some really nice uh, circuit board that has basic stuff, some chips on it here. These chips are very easy to take off, these IC chips. You can sell these online. Uh, just going to actually show you very easy how to do one of them. All I'm going to do is actually just take a knife and I'm just going to cut down the sides here. Um, I also have right here... This is silver uh, ribbon, so this is like a mallard bore, silver mallard bore. 
board, sorry, it's like your microwaves, um, those uh, pieces of paper that come out of the back. Um, if I show you, I have a couple right here. I collect these in a bag, but all of these, same things. These are your push buttons on a microwave. These all have little bits of silver in them. They're called silver mallard boards. Um, so definitely I package these up, get paid by weight online. Um, if you are into extracting silver, uh, this is another thing to save these up and be able to refine that later. And that's my plan. But just looking at one of these chips, I'm gonna take my knife and just cut that out. I'm gonna do that right now. Put on some safety glasses just in case. Very easy to do. Just gonna run down the fingers. I have seen some people, there, actually take them off with a uh, air chisel. But these are actually, I put these into a bucket, these IC chips, and you will get paid uh, per weight online, especially they do collect these. There are different items inside of these. Uh, sometimes you will see copper and other items. So IC chips are a good thing to take off the of circuit boards. Um, the rest of this one will have, as I said, if I turn this over, once I take the screws out, there's a couple screws here. Very easy to do, obviously. Make sure I keep all my screws in my bin, but definitely gonna have some silver. Um, the rest of this board, once I remove those little chips and the silver, I can still bring in this circuit board as is and get e-waste price for it. So still getting something. So last screw, just taking that out. Um, as you can see, a lot of work, but in my opinion, worth it. Okay, so there is another circuit board. Nothing really on this side, um, but uh, again, this can be heavy. They run pretty good, so five cents a pound for this. Once I open this up, just taking a knife, I'm gonna try and peel that off to get all of these mallard boards. So I'm gonna try that for you. Might have to take a little bit of work, but we'll see. Uh, just like a microwave uh, sticker, there we go. Watch this, there it is. So look at that. There is my mallard boards, my silver mallard board. Very easy to take out. Again, put a knife under that as well. It's just taped in. Sometimes there are two layers or three layers in this case, but I gotta get deep, deep into that. Hopefully you can see that. Just peel that up. There you go. So there is some silver mallard board that's coming off of that. The other one's gonna have it as well. But again, I take these and I will store them up and I will hopefully refine them later. So a great score, uh, easy video, hopefully a quick video. I do have other videos showing how to take the whole thing off, but just a lot of screws. Um, but hopefully that answered the question. Yes, exercise equipment does have some great material. These ones, as I said, had precious metals like silver and gold had a lot of steel, and steel right now is at an amazing price. Um, had a couple copper berry motors, small ones. Um, so definitely some wire that you definitely want. And unfortunately, uh, this one didn't have it, but they always have a nice thick appliance wire that you plug in. Those would definitely be going for your 40% recovery, very thick, very long. Uh, but again, usually in the scrap world, that is something that a lot of times people will just cut and drive off with and just leave the rest. But in my opinion, the whole item is worth scrapping. Great item to pick up. So hopefully that answered the question. Please comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. Keep those questions coming. Tin Man out.